in this video. Is it possible to create free energy using this motionless concept? All we have here is the battery, capacitors and the diode. How do we now create this energy? Remember, electricity flows like water. And in this concept, we are here to prove to you that the way you use the water system is still the way electricity operates. Now, this is your 12 volts source. This is a capacitor that will represent a 9 volts source, depending on the, the strength of this diode, light emitting diode. Then the second one is still another capacitor. All of 12, um, 24, 25 volts, 10,000 microfarads. Now, we use different colors of LEDs to identify what we did here. The basic thing you have to understand is the connection. From this diagram, you can see that the negative of the battery and that of the capacitors are connected together with the load, the other end of the last diode. Now, the positive is now connected to the load. This, all these dots are serving as your key, which is the switch. So, let's experiment this concept and find out how we can recreate energy or generate energy through charge flow. If the pressure in liquid is transmitted equally and if that concept is free, then we have to pick something from this video. As you watch, we believe you can tap something from here and we expand and get more from this. This is the main, the main project. Now we have our battery, this is a lithium ion battery, then this charge a bit, 9.11.9. Oh, now let's get this going. Remember, all these things are connected using this method, this diagram you are seeing here, all the negatives are connected together. Then all the, neg the negatives of these capacitors are connected, while the positive and the negative of these bulbs are connected using the same format. Now this is our source. Let's power the first LED. You see what happened. It is on and the capacitors, this, this first capacitor is charged. Remove the source, connect the second switch. You see what happened. That energy from the first bulb went to charge this capacitor. And as the capacitor has been charged, we collected that same charge to produce electricity here which made this bulb to lead to, to light up now the bulb has consumed the energy in this capacitor now let's see the movement again now it has gone to drain and the zero which is now start repeat again the charge from this same capacitor going back then because the energy stored in this capacitor is still present and it has not been fully consumed that is why this bulb continue to come up even while it is not connected to the source now this experiment has a lot to prove in this concept of 
free energy creation. If charge actually flows in this manner, thereby instead of the, the, the charge going from positive here down to the negative, which is the normal way, it is now flowing from positive of this capacity from the source down to the load and through the positive of a capacitor down to the neutral. Now, as the charge as the electron passes this way, it is now charging this cap the, the capacitor has been charged now before it go it went to drain, it went to the neutral. Now the same energy, the same charge that is flowing has charged this capacitor has been charged. You now connect the second load to this same capacitor. You now see that there is the charge that is already in this place now flows through this, generates electricity. This man now will now come up then down here to the positive side again before going to zero which is the um the negative now as this charge goes to the negative through the positive this second capacitor is charged through the same energy that has been released from the first action now that energy is now in this place the second capacitor and when you connect the last diode the energy the charge will now flow down to negative if you continue to repeat this experiment you now see that as charges or electron flows in this concept you can generate what i called kind of motionless energy that is created as a result of chain reaction in the flow of electron this concept is beyond this picture you are seeing it is beyond this diagram with this you can amplify or recreate energy from react from this charge flow and as you split this system this way you can create multiple sources of this free energy so this is just the beginning of this concept we hope and believe you can carry out further research on this even as we come up with an in-depth analysis of this video see you next time